hello how to solve for a and b in this equation a plus b is equal to 20 a b is equal to 44 solution from here a plus b is equal to 20 let's call this equation one and from here a b is equal to 44 let's call this equation two Then from equation one, a plus b equal to 20. Let's make b the subject of the formula. b is equal to 20 minus a. Let's call this equation three. Then from equation two, that is a b is equal to forty four. We can then substitute for b a bracket b is twenty minus a is equal to forty four. Then let's open the bracket. A multiplied by twenty. This is 20a 8 multiplied by minus a this is minus a square is equal to 44 then here this is 20a minus a square minus 44 is equal to 0 now let's bring let's rearrange this in standard form you have minus a square plus 20 a minus 44 is equal to 0 now let's divide all through by minus 1 we have minus a square divided by minus 1 this is a square plus 20 a divided by minus 1 this is minus 20 a minus 44 divided by minus 1 this is plus 44 is equal to 0 and this is a quadratic equation which can be solved using quadratic general formula quadratic general formula is given as a is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a then from here, a equal to 1, b equal to minus 20, then c is equal to 44. Let's substitute. a is equal to minus bracket minus 20 plus or minus square root of b square, that is minus 20 square minus 4 multiplied by a is 1 multiplied by c is 44 divided by 2 multiplied by 1 a is equal to minus multiplied by minus 20 this is 20 plus or minus square root of minus 20 squared that is 400 Minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 44. This is minus 176 divided by 2 multiplied by 1. That is 2. A is equal to 20 plus or minus square root of 400 minus 176. That is 234 then divided by 2 now let's get the factor of 224 this is 2 we have 1 1 2 then 2 here 5 6 2 and 56 that is 28 then 2 and 28 that will be 14 
then two and fourteen that is seven now seven one so here we have two multiply by two multiply by two multiply by two and then this two multiply by seven here is fourteen and this is two to the power of four so therefore we have a is equal to 20 plus or minus square root of 2 to the power of 4 multiplied by 14 divided by 2. Then we have a is equal to 20 plus or minus square root of 2, 2 to the power of 4, that is 16. Then square root of 16, that is 4 root 14 then divided by 2 and this is equal to 20 divided by 2 plus or minus 4 divided by 2 square root of 14 2 here 1 2 here 10 2 here 1 2 here 2 a is equal to 10 plus or minus 2 root 14. Therefore, a1 is equal to 10 plus 2 square root of 14. And a2 is equal to 10 minus 2 square root of 14. These are the values of A. We can, we can solve for B using equation 3. To get the value of B, then from equation 3, that is, B is equal to 20 minus A. Then let's solve for B1. B1 is equal to 20 minus A1. Then B1 is equal to 20 minus A1 is 10 plus 2 root 14. Here we have 10 plus 2 root 14. Then B1 is equal to 20 minus 10 minus 2 root 14. Then B1 is equal to 20 minus 10. This is 10 minus 2 root 14. Now to get B2, for B2, B2 is equal to 20 minus A2. Then B2 is equal to 20 minus A2 is 10 minus 2 root 14. B2 is equal to 20 minus 10 plus 2 root 14. Then B2 is equal to 20 minus 10. This is 10 plus 2 root 14. This is the value of B2. Therefore, A1, comma B1 is equal to 10 plus 2 root 14, comma 10 minus 2 root 14 and a2 comma b2 is equal to 10 minus 2 root 14 comma 10 plus 2 root 14 you can see that a1 here is equal to b2 here and then 
B1 here is equal to A2 here. So we can check to confirm if this answer is right or wrong. Let's check. To check, we have the given equation A plus B equal to 20 AB equal to 44. Now let's check for this. Then from here, let's use any of these, but let's use A1, B1. Then A is 10 plus 2 root 14 plus B is 10 minus 2 root 14 must be equal to 20 and this we cancel this we have 10 plus 10 must be equal to 20 10 plus 10 this is 20 is equal to 20 which is true now let's check for a b is equal to 44 to check for the product a b equal to 44 so a is 10 plus 2 root 14 multiply by 10 minus 2 root 14 everything must be equal to 44 then let's open the bracket 10 times 10 that is 100 then 10 multiply by minus 2 root 14 this is minus 20 root 14 2 root 14 you multiply by 10. This is plus 20 root 14. Then plus 2 root 14 multiplied by minus 2 root 14. This is minus 2 root 14 square must be equal to 44. Then here we have this, we cancel this, 100 minus 2 root 14 all square must be equal to 44. Now we have 100 minus, this is 2 square, this we cancel this, multiply by 14 must be equal to 44. Now we have 100 minus 2 squared, that is 4, multiplied by 14. That is 56 must be equal to 44. Then 100 minus 56, this is 44 is equal to 44 which is true i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my channel bye